Hey there, YouTubers and Disney fanatics. This is NJ Diz again. Uh, I wanted to talk about something different today because it's just in the news, and it's something that, besides Disney, that I'm really passionate about and that I have strong opinions about. Um, it's about guns and firearms, so if you're not interested or you don't want to hear it, I advise clicking off now um, because that's all this video is going to be about. Um, th there's something that just came up in the news recently. It was an article about a young man that just got arrested here in New Jersey. And, uh, the circumstances surrounding the whole thing are, are just so unbelievable and completely ridiculous that it just made my head spin. I, I just had to come on and, and vent to somebody. Um, the guy's name is Brian Aitken, um... He's 27 years old. He's a, a communications engineer or something like that. doesn't really matter. Anyway, he's been having a little bit of a tough time. He got divorced. Um, you know, there's stuff going on in his life. And he just moved to New Jersey uh, from Colorado. Okay? And, and what had happened was, you know, he's going through all the stuff with the divorce. And his ex-wife canceled visitation with his son. And he was really down about it, and uh, he muttered something to his mother along the lines of, you know, that life isn't worth living. And when he came from Colorado, he brought guns. He brought guns that he legally bought from Colorado to New Jersey. So his mother, who is a social worker, called the police, and she was afraid that her son was going to hurt himself because she knew he had the guns, and, you know, he, he made the statement that, you know, to, to the effect that life wasn't worth living. So she thought he was going to hurt himself. So she called the police, and the police came and saw that he had guns in his car, and they arrested him. And he went before a judge, a real lame brain judge, a real uh, anti gun anti-common sense judge apparently uh sentenced him for seven years in prison on weapons charges which is absolutely ridiculous he had the guns legally granted that there are a, a whole lot of different procedures that new jersey has in place versus colorado but there should be some leeway taken into consideration he had the guns in his trunk the, uh, both of the guns that he had were unloaded and locked, which is how New Jersey directs you to transport uh, any firearms are loaded and uh, unlocked, oh, unloaded and locked. And uh, they got him on high, I'm um, having high capacity magazines and hollow point um and, well, actually, they got him on weapons charges, I guess, for not properly having them registered or anything. But one of our one of our local uh, anti-gun groups came out. One of the spokesmen said that, you know, if he had done the research that he claims, he would have re he wouldn't have had hollow point or high capacity magazines that they're illegal in New Jersey. Now, you know, having high capacity magazines that is illegal in New Jersey. The law states that you can't have any magazine that has 15 or more rounds in it. Th that's the law. You know, and they can get him on that. But I think some leeway should be given to the fact that he just moved here. Fine. Make him pay a fine. Make him surrender those magazines. Seven years in prison is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. As for the hollow point bullets... I don't know who started it or, or where it was read or, uh, or, or what. Hollow point bullets are not illegal in New Jersey. They are not illegal. If you don't believe me, Google the New Jersey State Police firearms page and it will tell you that hollow points are not illegal in this state. Listen. I own guns. I live in New Jersey all my life, okay? I'm a member. I was a member of... I am a member of one range, but I've been to two different ranges. They both sell... I don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up. They both sell hollow-point ammunition. They both sell it. 
Here's regular ball ammunition. You can see that the whole thing is there. And then if you look at hollow point, it looks like the top is cut off here. And the inside, like I said, don't know how well the camera's picking that up. The inside is drilled out. Hollow points um, are mainly used because they inflict more damage when fired. The point is when they fire, the hollow point goes into the body or into the target and expands. And instead of wasting energy just zipping through the body, what this one would do, would go through, it would end up just punching a hole. This one spreads out and all the energy stays in the target. Hollow point bull, a lot of police officers use hollow point bullets because they don't over penetrate. The problem when somebody fires this, it has very high potential to go through the target and hit something else. So a lot of people use hollow points so it doesn't over penetrate and accidentally hurt somebody or hit something that it's not supposed to. They're not illegal. I don't know who started this, but they're not illegal. You can walk into any gun shop or range and buy hollow point ammunition. So basically, they got him on having high capacity magazines. Now, our governor in New Jersey, Chris Christie, uh, this judge uh, apparently made some other bonehead calls. And I'm going to link to an article underneath uh, that you can read. And the, uh, apparently the judge is such a lame brain that Christie decided not to reappoint him. Um, so at least he's gone. At, at, you know, hopefully we'll get somebody, even if they are anti-gun, they won't be anti-common sense, which is what this judge was. Um, but the family... And a lot of people are calling for Chris Christie to simply squash this. The family asked for clemency on the on the charges. And I really, really hope that Christie does the right thing and squashes this. He's been cool. He's been so common sense with everything else in this screwed up state. I really hope he doesn't trip on this one because this is a no brainer. Like I said, should he maybe... You know, the law is the law. That's fine. But there should be some leeway. The fact that he just moved here, like I said, the hollow points shouldn't be an issue because they're not illegal. You can have them. You can own them in this state. The high, the high capacity magazines, make them pay a fine. Make them do some community service. Uh, make them surrender the magazine. Seven years in prison is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um, thank you for letting me vent. I appreciate it. And um, hopefully I'll be back soon. And we'll talk about some more fun Disney stuff. Until then, I'm NJ Dizzer, and have a fine evening. Bye, all.